Boom, we're in this Raider Nation. What up, y'all? Bam. Raiders are winning what? Uh, what's the score? Fuck. I forgot the score already, but we're up by a good amount. I think it's uh, 17-6 or something. 17-3. I think, well, they scored a touchdown, right? Oh, yeah. I think it's 17-7. My bad. Because they had a, didn't they have a field goal already, too? I don't know. Whatever. It don't matter. We're up ahead. Yeah, we're playing way better than we did last week, that's for sure. I mean, it's un- unbelievable the difference of uh, between last week and this week. I mean, Adams already has way more way more catches. Definitely. He looks better. Car Car's presence on the field, at first, I'm not going to lie, when, when on the first few snaps, me and him were kind of looking and talking to each other like, man, Car looks like shit. He, he looks scared at first, dude, but I think he's tired of getting beat up. Basically, yeah. to go off what Seth's saying, there's... I think he's sick of uh, letting the defensive line get to him and fucking rattle him. You know what I mean? Even I think it was on that first touchdown he threw to Adams. If you watch, rewatch it, he gets he gets lit up at the end of the play. But I think he's past the point of caring, dude. He just wants to win. So that's yeah. what we need. We don't need somebody who's gun shy back there. We need somebody who's going to toss it. You know what I mean? And I don't really think it has anything to do with the fact that his job's on the line. I think he really just wants to win. I think like yeah. – you know, since he got to the playoffs last season, he's really kind of frustrated with himself about the lack of chemistry that he's had with McDaniels. And so I think just, you know, taking this week, I feel like them being in Florida the whole time was really good because they were able to, they didn't have to worry about flying a day in, yeah, uh, uh, flying in a day true. or two before yeah. and having to deal with the jet lag from the time difference on top of daylight savings time. Right. They had a whole week to get adjusted. Exactly. I, I didn't acclimate to the weather. I didn't think that was going to work at first, but the more I think about it, the more I realized that was a pretty smart decision by the, by the team. You know what I mean? Uh, dude, Max Crosby, man. Oh, my God. He's wrecking the game for their – I mean, yeah, they got a touchdown, dude. But I'm going to be honest. That – Travis ATN, he fumbled it before he crossed the plane. Yeah, and, that, was, uh, that should have been overturned. Yeah, I mean, they, the uh, Jags still picked it up, so whatever. It wouldn't have made too much of a difference. They were, still would have been on the one again. But, uh, dude, Mad Max, he got what? He got the uh, fumble recovery, and I think he got like a four-yard run stop or something. I'm sorry, I can't remember right now. But, dude, he's playing lights out. Whole I think de- whole defense is looking good. Yeah, Chandler Jones is showing up. Yeah. Um, I mean, even with Diablo out, which sucks on the with his forearm injury, and that was, I mean, what five six plays into the game, I feel like I saw him getting carted off. Yeah, it wasn't too long in. And then, uh, and now he's now he's kind of, you know, not sorry. Now the defense is trying to trying to work without him. I mean, Perryman's Perryman's looking good. Perryman's reading, yeah, getting the holes, making tackles. Uh, you know, Harmon, I'm you know, I don't I haven't really seen him do too much yet, but since they had to throw him out there. Um, their second. I mean, I just want to say the secondary looks way better today. Averett, yeah. Averett making a huge play, huge block. It was like a third and it was like a third and three. Trevor Lawrence went uh for a long ball. It was like a go route, and Averett was right there with his left hand in breaking it up, just yeah. right in time. It was perfect. And so. shout out to Rocky Sin and uh, oh my god, me too, dude. Our secondary is playing pretty decent today. Uh. Everybody we've been talking shit about this whole season so far has just really showed up today. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I picked the Raiders to lose this game just off the way they've been playing the last few weeks. But uh, And I didn't think they're going to have too much of an answer for – not that Trevor Lawrence is uh, some you know game-changing quarterback. He's decent, but he's not Mahomes or nothing like that. But uh, still, they have good offensive weapons. you got AT- ETN, however you say his name. you got Zay Jones, X-Raider, Evan Ingram. Uh, Christian Kirk. I don't know if he's playing today. I feel like I haven't really seen him, but uh, yeah, dude, they're they're a decent team. You know, they're two and six, whatever. But they're hungry for a win, just like we are. But so far, man, we're just we're out playing them. Uh, like we said, Adams, Crosby, those guys have really been coming through today. Car too, dude. Car's been playing a really good game. Yeah, I'm I'm really liking the the looks of the leadership that he's got. You know, that first sack that he got, probably second second drive. Uh, or sorry, second play of the game. It looked like I, oh, you know, yeah. I was worried. That I was, was the first play of the game. <laughs> I was like, wow. I mean, already this is. It didn't look like we're off to a good start. It looked like the same start as the Saints game. You know, it was like oh, three and out. Cars getting sacked, and I, I mean, what a turnaround! Yeah. What a turnaround! I mean, I will give the Jaguars the run 
run defense. They are pretty good with their yeah. run defense right now. Jacobs yeah. hasn't really been able to make a move or break through at all. That's true. Um, he's had a couple really good plays getting through. He had a couple first down to first downs. He had a couple uh, just, you know, big 12, 16-yard drives. Yeah. But other than that, it's like they started to read him really well. And, yeah. And, I mean, every other play, if it wasn't a big breakthrough, which the majority of them were, like, it was for uh, tackles oh. for loss. Lions are beating the uh, Packers 8-0 to zero, just real quick. But, uh, yeah, dude. But uh, that's a – for the Raiders coaching staff, that's a big thing because the last couple – you know, the last – this whole season when we uh, – when the run game's not working, or even if we're behind in points, they completely go away from the run game. And they've kind of, they, I'm not going to lie, they've kind of started to go from the run, go away from the run game a good amount this week, too, mm-hmm. but they're still trying to get Jacobs involved instead of not bringing him in, bringing him in at all. You know what I mean? You got you to gotta kill some clock and uh, get some simple yards, you know what I mean? And just try and beat him up up the middle with Jacobs. That's, that's what we do best. Yeah. yeah, throwing Adams with nine receptions or whatever, you might have ten now in the first half is cool and all, but you don't want to rely solely on your passing game. And you know, we already seen Adams go down for like a. It looked like he got something in the ribs or something. Yeah, his ribs or his knee or some. I couldn't really tell what happened, but you know, that's the that's the uh, that's the risk you involve when you are trying to feed a player like that. You know what I mean? But. I think we're getting a lot of success because we're targeting Adams more and we're targeting Renfro. But the other thing that's giving us that success is, one, Waller's not out on the field as a receiver, so our tight end is blocking. And then Mac Hollins, if they're not sending him out in the slot, then he's there blocking too. So Derek Carr has more time in the pocket. He's got more insurance. He feels more comfortable. And there he's able to get out to his receivers that, are know, that he knows that can catch the ball. Yeah. And... I'm not, I'm not saying that the Jags defense isn't doing good in the secondary. I mean, they're double teaming, you know, triple teaming in some sense, you know, even like kind of with the zone coverage. Yeah. Like they'll play press on Adams and then they'll get halfway through the route. And it all of a sudden just looks like that the, the cornerback is like, oh, you know, I'm all of a sudden going to go over here and cover the middle and leaves Adams out man to man. And that's how it seems like we're getting some success. So I feel like Coming in from halftime, I feel like the cornerbacks are going to look a lot better on the Jaguar side, and we're going to have to kind of resort to running the ball. And we're going to have to adapt. Yeah, if they keep stopping us on the run and adapt to the to the pass to the pass game, we might find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. So, I think um, you know halftime is you know the game's not you know anywhere. In, this game's far from over. Yeah. So, I feel like there, you know, there's a lot of ball left to play, and we're not playing good enough to say that this is going to be a, a win for sure. So, stuff definitely got to be on our toes and make sure that we're uh, dotting our I's and crossing our T's. I think they played good enough today to prove that they're going to win. They just got to keep doing what they're doing and not shy away from stuff that's making them win. We got to keep putting pressure on Lawrence like they've been doing all day. I don't know, man. It's been a it's been a tough couple of weeks. I'm sure you guys know, but yeah, <laughs> last week, dude, was that was horrible. You know what I mean? Like that was an embarrassment. I didn't even have much to say about it because I was so, <laughs> I was so like pissed. You it know? was hard to have anything to say when you fuck, when you when you lose like that because mm-hmm. it's. I mean, you didn't put a single point they didn't on the show board. Anything you didn't get across yeah. the fifty until the fourth quarter. It's like there's there's literally nothing to talk right. about. But whatever, that was last week and this week's this week, and we got the lead, so let's focus on that. You know what I mean? And the thing that I hate most is when after you lose like that, and when your team's doing this bad, you know, when they should be doing really good, mm-hmm. that the hope that you have coming into a game like this is kind of like, um. So the Jags are doing about just as good as us. Right. And so it seems like a pretty even matched game. But the second that we got a score or the second that we crossed the 50 even, I was, it was kind of like a sigh of relief. Oh, it was yeah. kind of like a, definitely. oh, okay, that's not going to happen again yeah. this week. Like Definitely. Just the, I don't know, I, I don't know how many passes Adams caught in the first quarter. He's caught in 10 in the first half. But, uh. Yeah, the first couple plays to him, I was like, all right, well, they're trying to get him involved early. But then they started, like, really trying to feed the ball to him. And, mm-hmm. I mean, it's working out. He's got two touchdowns. I'm sure he's over 100 yards. I mean, he was juking defenders. He, yeah. I mean, he he literally juked, like, a four or five defenders on this one play. Right. And doing, like, a Jacob zigzag run right. to the outside. And he got that first big touchdown that was for a lot of yards. But I don't even – it seems like most of his plays today have seemed like little, like, dink and dunk passes. But, I mean, it's working. That's dude. what they need because yeah. I feel like uh, we watched um, – if you guys watched Kurt Warner's 
breakdown, film breakdown of uh, the offensive line and, and Derek Carr's uh, passing plays, every single route for Devontae Adams last week w- pretty much was a go route. Just, yeah. a, just a long go route yeah. down the sideline to the end zone. And, I mean, in press coverage, and, you're, I mean, it's, sometimes it's double coverage, and there's – it's like he's not open and is still throwing it to him. And then if we're not using – Adams for a go route down the down the side of the field, it's Hollins. Right. Yeah. And Hollins had a catch or two. And then I think Adams had a catch that they ended up reversing because they said that his feet were out of bounds. Oh yeah. And well that was a Chiefs game, I think. Uh no, I, I thought that happened last week too. Oh. But uh the the whole idea is like Adams is really good. He's not fast. He's not the fastest wide receiver out there. So but he's really good at catching and juking receivers. So why, just throw it up the middle. Yeah. You know what I mean? I haven't really seen any passes up the middle. The only routes where Adams runs up the middle, he's a decoy yep. on the inside slot. Yeah. Well, it uh, looks like halftime's over. So uh, we're going to get back to the game. Sports, uh, highlight Hendo Network. You know, Raiders, man. Let's do it. Let's get this W. Let's close this game out. I don't want to see the Jags come back from this shit. Raiders. Let's, let's wipe them off the face of the earth.